today we'll be working on problem solving 7A. An airline pilot flew a total of 27,618 miles in three years. He flew 9,481 miles in the first year and 8,964 miles on the second year. Which equation can be used to find X, the number of miles the pilot flew in the third year? All right, so we're going to underline our question first. This which equation can be used to find X. This is our variable. The number of miles the pilot flew in the third year. We want to know how many miles he flew in the third year. All right, we know that he flew a total of 27,618 miles. We need that. That is our total. And the first year, he flew 9,481 miles and 8,964 the second year. And we want to know how many he flew on the third year. All right, so we'll create our strip diagram. All right, so we know he we have a total. The total miles he flew were 27,618 miles and was three years. On the first year, he flew 9,481 miles. The second year, he flew 8,964 miles. And we want to know how many he flew in the third year. That's X, that's our variable. All right, so if we look at our strip diagram, we can, Add these two together, add your first year and the second year together, and then subtract from our third year. So we could write this equation. We can get 27,618, and we're going to subtract um, 9,481 and 8,964. So I can add these two. Whatever my answer is, I can subtract from that, and that's going to equal to x, the number of miles he flew that third year. So if we look at our equations up here, we see that it's not there. We're not doesn't show where we're going to add these two numbers and then subtract it from there. All right. So another way we could do it, we can take 27,618, and we're going to subtract this amount first. So 9,481, then whatever we get, we're going to subtract that amount, 8,964, and that should give us X, the number of miles he flew on the third year. So if we look up here, do we see 27,618 minus 9,481 minus 8,400, I mean, 964. If we look at it, that answer is going to be C. Here they're adding these two numbers and then subtracting that one. We're not going to add these two numbers. We subtract those two numbers. Because if we add the total plus that, we're gonna our number is gonna be greater than our total. Our number cannot be greater than our total. Our answer cannot be greater than our total. So here we're gonna add these two, and that should give us x. That would not give us x. If we add these two, we still need to subtract it from our total to get our remaining part there. And and D says 27,000 minus. 8,964, and we still have to subtract that one, so D cannot be our answer. Now you try 7B on your own.